Hello, welcome. I am crafting again tonight, uh, making a reversible sign, which is available. And so I wanted to show you an idea on how you could paint it if you are interested in purchasing the kit. So this kit uh, is uh, a little sign that um, you flip around. So on one side it says trick or treat and you get these cute little uh, pieces of candy to decorate it with. And then on the other side it says out of candy. It's got the sad uh, pumpkin that you add to that side with also some pieces of candy as well. Uh, but you can decorate it however you want, but I thought I'd show you um, how I'm gonna decorate it. I need to paint it to uh, create some product pictures, and so why not just go live and do it with you guys? So, uh, if you're able to watch, say hi. Let me know that you are hopping on. And let me make sure. I'm gonna check my phone here. Hi, Carla. So channeled your inner birdie at school today. So what, what did you do? Did you craft today at school? You'll have to let me know. Um, hi, Katie. How are you tonight? Okay, so I can see comments. Maybe I'll move this around so I'm not always just looking off into space. Where's the best place for it? Rearranging. Okay, I think I got it. Um, so, like I said, and there's a fly. It's fly season. Fly season. Um, real quick, as a small business owner, I so appreciate all of your support um, and love to see the thumbs up and hearts on our videos. Uh, it really shows Facebook that we are, um, I guess you could say uh, worthy, but I hate saying that uh, because that's not where we find our worth, right? Um, Carly says we were creating their choice of good germs or bad germs. They could use markers or paints. So, oh, fun. Um, and then, as always, uh, if you would sprinkle the love, share the joy, um, and uh, put that on your page, which is a great uh, way to uh, bookmark it so that you can find it later because things get lost in Facebook as well. So uh, sharing the joy to your page acts like a little bookmark there as well. And as always, say hi. Let me know uh, what you're up to tonight. Okay. So let's see. What do we want to do here? I am really just sitting here thinking how I want to paint this cute sign. I think I'm going to do a classic. I was going to follow um, the theme that I did the uh, tear tray set. So um, we have a cute little tear tray set and I painted it in all black and white, did some distressing, some grays, um, and I was going to do that here. but. Let's do something different. I think I'm going to do a black and white striped background. So um, we'll start with that and then maybe orange letters, maybe purple letters or something. We'll see. You kind of figure it out as you go. Typically, I don't have a huge plan on what I want to do. Uh, so actually, let's just kind of think about where I want my T's here because I'm thinking I'll just do a stripe here. And 
maybe just three stripes. Uh oh, I got bl blue on my ruler. That's awesome. Nothing like having to fix something, so let's actually go there and. So all I'm doing right now is kind of thinking about where I want my stripes because I think I'm going to do um, one large white stripe in the middle. Just try and get this straight here. And then the ends will be black. That's what I'm kind of thinking anyways. Okay, let's pull out a baby wipe and clean this up. As best we can. And I don't think I'm gonna tape, I'm just gonna eyeball it. It'll be faster that way. So we'll get a bunch of white out. Let me get my large flat. So uh, if you didn't know about Joybox, let me visit with you about that real quick while I'm painting this white. Uh, our Joybox is our monthly DIY subscription kit where every month we send you a box full of joy in the creative process. And we create holiday themed items or just non-seasonal items, just kind of uh, varies depending. But the box contains everything you need to finish the piece minus just a few household items such as maybe a pencil or a pair of scissors, maybe a ruler, uh, and the uh, uh, also comes with a tutorial. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. So we do um, a video tutorial in a Facebook group. Uh, that is available for replay so you can craft at any time that's convenient for you which is nice so then you can pause it take your time or speed it up if I'm going too slow and you're finishing a little faster you can speed me up and fast forward and rewind as needed and that all happens in a private Facebook group, which is an amazing group of ladies. They're all so encouraging and they share their creations. And it's so fun to see everybody um, bring in their own style every month on their signs or whatever it is we're making. Uh, but we also have a website where you can watch the tutorials too. So if you um, don't really want to be on Facebook all that much, you can use the website to watch the tutorials. So that opens tomorrow. It opens the 26th through the uh, 29th for new members. And this will be the last month that we are going to be able to offer it at $37 a month. That includes free shipping. Next month, we um, unfortunately are going to have to raise the price due to uh, wood costs. We were trying to ride out the increase in wood costs, but it's looking like um, it's not going to lower anytime soon, and it might not ever go back, which is kind of the or for the course of things that increase, they might lower a little bit, but not always go back to that original price. So um, anyways, this is the last month that we are offering it at $37 a month plus free shipping. So uh, if you're interested, uh, get in, lock in that rate, 
you can cancel anytime if you find that you don't you know it's not something that uh, brings you joy uh, you can definitely cancel there's a no hassle cancellation policy you hit, log into your account you hit cancel and done um, but I do uh, recommend getting in now while you have those prices that low price so all right so let's see we're gonna do the bottom black we'll see how this turns out I feel like I didn't measure all that well I feel like one side is bigger than the other maybe it's just the holes in the top that are throwing me off so let's see who we've got we've got Claire and Wendy and Kitty Lou and Judy and Berkeley and Tammy is watching good evening ladies How are you guys tonight? We are on a crafting roll trying to get some of our kits painted for some product pictures. And I also love going live and doing these kits with you so that you can kind of see um, how they all go together and maybe be inspired on different ways to paint your kit. So if you're watching, if you're still on, put in the comments what your favorite Halloween color is. Orange, purple, green. I guess it would be more of a lime green as typical Halloween, isn't it? Just classic white and black. There's really no rules, is there? I, I saw a purple, yes, purple. Um, I saw a decorative home using white, black, and pink, which was just very subtle. It wasn't like really in your face pink, but it was really cool looking. Um, I've also seen Halloween decor with white, black, and a light teal color, which was interesting as well. So, different ideas there. So, I think that's pretty even. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to let that dry and work on my letters, which... Um, let's go purple for Katie uh, tonight. I'll go purple. So I'm just using tape here to hold my letters down while I paint them. It makes it really easy so I don't have to try and hold them and paint around my fingers while I'm holding them. And I try and put them in order as they're and readable order so that I know I am painting the right side of the letter otherwise sometimes I end up painting the back side and have to uh, start over so let me grab a purple we did the porch leaner in purple and that turned out really great with some lime green so we might have to incorporate some green and orange in the maybe the candy pieces all right I'm just gonna use a makeup sponge here to paint these letters makes it really easy to just dab on that color it also helps uh, keep the edges nice and clean so I don't have to try and paint those I like leaving them with that darker a burnt edge from the laser. It helps them uh, stand out and stand off of the sign. So I typically leave those as is, or I try to. Uh, one, it's a pain to paint all of those edges and takes forever. So I always recommend to just leave them that dark color. 
and if you get paint on the edge you can just grab a typically just wet a brush and wipe away the paint or I grab a baby wipe and wipe off the edge and if I don't catch it in time and it's dried I will grab a sharpie and a black or a brown sharpie and clean it up that way as well and that works I'm just lightly tapping these pieces with this makeup sponge uh, so that we don't press paint down around the edges we're just tapping the tops I should have grabbed the uh, um, joy box that is for next month we are doing a broom sign so the sign is um, broom parking only it's got a broom on it and uh, I'm sure you've seen me post pictures of it but it says at the bottom all others will be towed um, and instead of the actual word toad, it's T-O-A-D, which is kind of cute. And then we will also be making the brooms for the sign. So you'll get all the supplies to make that in your joy box. Okay. Trick or treat, I think that's gonna look great against this here. Um, so I'm gonna set that aside and let it dry. See if I have any comments. Hi Heather, hi Sandra. How are you tonight, Patricia? And that's it. All right, so let's paint this uh, little bits of candy. We'll do a green and an orange. So if you're interested in purchasing any of our kits, uh, you can go to redbirddesigns.com and pick up a kit um, through our online shop. Just make sure everything's okay. Sometimes Facebook likes to change things up. Okay. I'm thinking we need to have a striped candy on this guy. Striped orange and white or green and white. Let's do green and white. So what I'm gonna do, what I am going to do is start by just painting the entire thing white. And then I'll come in with a color and add some fun stripes on this piece of candy here. Kind of reminds me of a Tootsie Roll, that one. And then we will uh, grab another brush and we'll go orange on this guy. This sign would be a super fun family project. There's tons of pieces involved, so everyone could um, paint the different words or maybe paint the, everyone gets a little piece of candy to paint. And then you put it together and you have just a fun uh, double-sided reversible sign. One side says trick or treat, and then when you're out of candy, you can flip it around and it says out of candy with a sad, little pumpkin face, which while I'm thinking about it, we might as well paint that pumpkin now that I've got orange on my brush. He's either sad or mad. He kind of looks a little both. So if you are um, interested in the joy box and you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
in regards to that. We are headed to Billings for the day come Friday for a cross country meet and so I'm making my list. I don't have a lot of time so I have to be very intentional on what I get but I do uh, get to pop into Hobby Lobby and Target and Walmart so I just don't get to browse though. It's in and out. Get what I need and get out. Okay. It's kind of mad. I guess he looks a little sad now that he's painted. Part of me thought he looked more mad than anything. And I am going to grab this other piece of candy and paint it orange as well. So who is gearing up for or getting uh, into the crafting mood? Fall always puts me into the crafting mood, and I know it's not quite full yet, but it's starting to feel like it, so. All right, quick wash, and get this other piece of candy painted. And actually, I'm gonna grab this one and paint it white real quick. I try and paint all the pieces this with the same color all at once. Doesn't always happen though. So I don't have to keep washing my brush. All right, we've got that one done. And let's do the lollipop. Uh, purple. This sign wouldn't quite work for us. We live at the end of a street which, with not very good lighting, kind of at a dead end. So we don't get uh, very many trick-or-treaters uh, during Halloween, which is sad. We usually head over to my sister's or visit her, and they get they live in the neighborhood that's very popular for trick-or-treating I can't remember how many they counted one night how many trick-or-treaters had come through and it was quite a lot I was surprised all right so I'm just touching up a few areas that I see on my letters here I just need a quick little second coat it did cover pretty well here. Okay. So I was going to do stripes on this one, 
I'm going to grab the green. I've got just a flat brush here. And I better set it down for stability. There's one. So this sign comes with two pieces of candy, uh, or three pieces of candy, uh, two each of each kind. So you can use them on the front um, and back, or just on the front, however you want to do it. So the front says trick or treat, and then the back will say out of candy. There we go. And then let's paint the stem hair green. We'll paint the pumpkin stem green while we're at it. And then let's add some polka dots to the other candy. And I want semi big polka dots, so I'm going to get a large handle here. So I'm just using the back of my brush, which makes really great polka dots. That's still not quite as big as I want. The bigger the handle, typically the bigger the polka dot you can get. This handle is being a pain, so I'm going to switch it out. Find something else. You can always use the end of a pencil or a dowel works great. If you have an eraser you haven't used on the pencil, that works awesome because it does have a little bit of give, give to it. So I like using those as well. Okay. There's that guy. And we'll put some polka dots on this one. So if you're just joining, we are painting one of our Halloween kits. And in the comments, let me know what your favorite Halloween color is. I typically like to paint or decorate with just white and black, but I've seen um, so many uh, different colors in different pictures that people have done. It's, it's amazing. Pinks and teals and super fun. So let's start laying this out and see how... We want to put these pieces, we'll move the candy off to the side. So I did the porch leaner with a purple background. Um, and so to have a sign that goes with it, I think purple would have, purple's gonna look great. So laying out these letters um, is really easy, especially um, 
if you do stripes but if you didn't want to do stripes it would be just as simple you could just lay out a ruler um, and all of the bottom of this font lines up great um, sometimes different fonts you've cut some curves and things like that so um, this really just helps uh, put this sign together a little bit easier when we use fonts that are a little bit more uniform that way so I'm just try and figure out where I want these all to sit and thinking that's okay scoot these up just a little bit looking a little crooked to me. I got my C wrong here or something. Okay, there we go. And then we can just start adding some candy in here. And there we go. That would be that side. So I'm gonna let all of this dry a little bit and then we'll glue it down. While this is drying, we can paint the other letters uh, for the other side that say out of, can out of candy. Hi Allison, love the letter style. Yes, it is fun. It's perfect for Halloween. All right, so candy. Scoot that up. Got the O. So the biggest thing when doing these kits is ensuring that you are painting the right side of the letter. I always recommend laying them out first to uh, even in the order of which you would read them so that you can really see that you've got the right side A or the E sometimes gets mixed up. Uh, so lay them out before you get started. All right, I am going to grab another sponge and paint the back side green I think. Mix it up. to see that green. I think it will look okay after I get it off of this green tape. It's kind of looking a little pale and sickly, but I think it will be all right. Sometimes just where we are setting our items can change how they look. So I still have to paint the back and I'm thinking maybe polka dots. Let me know what you guys think. Do I continue with the bold stripe? Do I do smaller stripes? Should I do polka dots? What would you like to see? Hi Gwen, hi Linda, hi Chris. How are you ladies tonight? Thanks for joining. 
I'm watching while I paint a Halloween sign. All right, there's that. We are gonna start gluing this down. I think we, I'm good where it's at. Actually, maybe I scoot it over just a little bit. Okay, we're committing. I'm pulling out the super glue and we are committing because I could sit here and rearrange all day and play with the location of this, but then it would never get done. So at what, some point you gotta stop and just commit. And if you're doing a sign with letters, I recommend standing up and looking over it so that you can really see um, and make sure that they're in line with each other. I have the benefit of having a overhead camera, so I get to just see exactly what it looks like from your guys' perspective to help me line them up. Trick or treat is there. We're going to commit to this candy being up here. I'm going to commit there. I think the candy, the lollipop, needs something uh, to help stand it out, but we'll add some detail to those as well. All right, before I do the O, I think, or I think I'm going to. Put in the treat. So this would be, like I said, a fun project for the whole family or grandkids. Uh, the pieces aren't too small. I probably, you know, make sure to, if you have younger kids, you know, have supervision. But um, everyone could paint a set of words or a piece of candy and pull this uh, together and... create a very unique sign for their doors. So I think I'm gonna go there with that. And you could get really creative with this background. You could put um, not just stripes, you could just paint it all white and paint a little house back here. You could paint some bats on there. You could do some monsters wiggly eyes, all sorts of fun things. Because there are no um, score marks. So a lot of our signs will have the score mark on the back piece so that you can easily place the elements, the letters, the shapes, whatever it is. But we purposely left this sign empty or plain so that you could decorate it how you want um, and add your uh, artistic flair to it and paint that house, that haunted house or whatever it is you've got. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna pull out my blow dryer real quick so that I can flip this over and we can paint the other side real fast. So give me just a second. <laughs> It's 
these polka dots down here that are taking forever to dry. So the other side's blank as well. And we did the stripe, so what do you guys think? Should we do carry on with the bold stripe or do polka dots or a solid color? I'm kind of thinking polka dots up in here would have been very cute too. So let's do polka dots. We're gonna go black with white polka dots, I think. I'm holding it up just a little bit like this because my polka dots on my candy on the other side aren't all that dry quite yet, or aren't all that dry yet. And I don't want them to smear, so I'm trying to be careful of that little piece of candy. Let's pull out some more black. So this round is 12 inches. So this is a 12 inch round sign. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, but this is available on the website. So let's see where my, let's just get some little risers here so we can hold it up while we continue. Okay, there we go. All right, let me grab a sponge for polka dots here. I'm thinking big polka dots. Polka dots always take forever to dry. So there's so much paint that gets laid down with these sponges here. So I'm trying to pick up some of that paint so it doesn't take us forever to do this project. You could always use um, a paper towel, cardboard paper towel to make open polka dots, which would be uh, really cool for this Halloween sign as well. It kind of looks like bubbles maybe coming out of the witch's cauldron.
So if you've ever used these, giving them just a quick little twist before you lift up really helps fill in that whole polka dot. I think we need one over here and up here. Okay. I'll make sure that your holes are at the top. I'm going to blow dry this real quick and then we will glue on our letters and see how it looks. We'll compare the stripe to the polka dot and see which one's your guys' favorite. <laughs> The black paint wasn't completely dry, so I've got these really great polka dots. I'm going to bring them up, see if you can see. I've got this kind of crackling effect that happened. Um, and they almost look like little spider webs inside, or maybe spider eggs, um, which is super cool, uh, was not intentional but we're gonna go with it i am not gonna go back and fill those in with white i'm liking how that turned out uh with those so all right so then we've got to we still got a little bit of drying sorry guys let me try and get this dry here <laughs> cute little sad pumpkin and then we are out of candy and he might have to go up a little bit So I'm thinking the polka dot is my favorite. Um, if you're just joining, I'll flip it over so you can see the back side. We did a bold uh, stripe on that side, which is cute, but I'm loving these polka dots here. I see it has to come down. Okay. I think we just need a little adjusting there. I think that's pretty straight. Okay. We'll put the pumpkin there. Then we will add some candy. And I don't know if I will add candy to this side. I'm thinking that I like it just the way it is no candy. I think he'll be too busy with the candy. Yep, we're gonna leave the candy off on this one. And I just put my sleeve in the orange paint for goodness. For goodness. Good thing I'm wearing my painted sweater. <laughs> All right. Let's get this glued down. So 
So if you are looking to make some polka dots and you want your paint to crack and create some fun texture, um, actually a blow dryer works really well. So you put um, a pretty good coat of paint down and then if you blast it with some high heat, it does cause your paint to crack. And usually I warn people to use a low heat and be very careful because of that. But if that's the look you're going for, especially for a Halloween sign, um, put that heat right on your paint to get it super close, as high as it can go, as hot as it can go, and it will create these really great cracks uh, in your paint. So, who needs a sign like this? Do you guys get a lot of trick-or-treaters? That shape of the A just feels wonky to me. Okay, there we go. Did I already glue that guy down? No. There he goes. Um, and so there is the back side of this sign. So before I flip it over, I'm gonna add a little bit of detail to it. I want to add some detail to my pumpkin. I'm gonna grab some black and kind of do a quick little outline around him. I still think he looks mad, not sad. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna add some lines inside our polka dots. We'll bring some of those out. And I wish I would have grabbed my chip brush and added some um, distressing to my letters, but maybe we still might be able to do that. All right, so there is the back. We are out of candy. And then the other side then, make sure I grab it right, looks like this, trick or treat. And then I think, you know, actually I would maybe add more of this candy here. Um, but you have enough candy to do both sides depending on how you want to do your sign. So let me lay this down and I am going to add some details to my candy here real quick. And then just come across here. I'll go the other way with it, add some white.
kind of helps those pieces stand out a little bit. Okay, there we go. That is our dual or reversible sign. Here's one side, trick or treat, and then the other side out of candy. So in the comments, let me know, do you like the polka dots or the large uh, bold stripe? So let me know how you would decorate yours. Maybe you would do a solid color. You could definitely uh, kind of create a distressed look and add some shiplap lines and make it look super old. Um, distress the letters and add some using a chip brush distress the edges there uh, but super fun sign and uh, easy to make so anyways there's that sign you guys if you're interested in purchasing it it's at redbirddesigns.com it's in the shop uh, along with some other items for Halloween and also fall so we're starting to fill the shop up with new kits for the crafting season ahead. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, and don't forget, Joybox is open tomorrow. Uh, that is our DIY craft subscription box where we send you a little joy every month in the creative process. So if you're interested in that, make sure to go to the website, redbirddesigns.com hit the joy box button and you'll find all the information you need there. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to answer those for you. Um, it is just a fun way to get some crafting time in every month. Everything's delivered to your door. You don't have to shop for anything. You don't have to have a huge craft stash. Um, and so it makes it really easy to get that crafting time in. Uh, Alright guys, I will visit with you later. Thanks for watching and have a good evening. Bye.